There's one more theorem that allows us to put together the puzzle to find polynomial zeros, and that's Descartes' rules of science. And this rule is actually easier to demonstrate than explained. But let's, ex let's go through it. It says if we have a polynomial, ax, an times x to the n, and so on, all the way down to a naught. But the coefficients are real in this case, not necessarily integer coefficients. It tells us that the number of positive real zeros is the same as the number of sign changes in f of x. So let's just see if f of x, as you go through f of x, you get sign changes from positive to negative sometimes. Well, the number of positive real zeros is the same as the number of those sign changes, or that number minus an even number. So let's say you had four sign changes in f of x. You could have four positive real zeros, or two positive real zeros, or none. Similarly, the number of negative real zeros is the same as the number of sign changes in f of negative x. If I plug in a negative x, or that amount less uh, an even number in, uh, of sign changes from f of negative x. So let's say I had three sign changes in f of uh, negative x, then I would have either three negative real zeros or one negative real zero. So let's take a few examples. So using the Cars rule of signs, we want to determine the number of positive, possible positive and negative real zeros of this function. 4x to the 5th plus 2x to the 4th minus 3x squared plus x plus 5. Well, first of all, let's, this is f of x. Let's look at the number of sign changes. Well, we have a sign change. Here's a positive. This is positive. No change here. But from here to here, we have one sign change because it goes from positive to negative. And then it goes back from negative to positive and stays positive. So we have two sign changes. Two sign changes. Therefore, according to Descartes' rule of signs, we have either two positive zeros or zero positive zeros. So, now we'll plug in f of negative x. So if I plug in a negative x here into all of this, what we end up with is f of negative x equals negative 4x to the fifth, because when I raise a negative x to a negative to odd powers, it, we have a negative, but a negative x raised to an even power still remains positive. So we have plus 2x to the fourth, minus 3x squared, minus x, so plus x becomes minus x, plus 5. So let's look at the number of sign changes we have now. Well, it goes from negative to positive, and then it goes back from positive to negative, and stays negative here, and then negative to positive. So in this case, we have three sign changes. And what does that tell us? That means we have either we have three negative zeros or one negative zero, because we've decreased by an even amount. So we have three negative zeros or one negative zero. So the Descartes rule of science allows us to narrow down the possibility of our real zeros and combine with the rational zero theorem we can narrow down what our potential zeros are, and then using synthetic division, we can start to break apart our polynomial and find more zeros. So let's do an example using these theorems.